Luzardo deals. Not as low and away as the previous pitch, and that one will split the gap in left center field. Nemo on his way to second, takes a big turn. He's going to head toward third, and it gets by Wendell, backing up his Luzardo, a leadoff triple for Brandon Nemo. Uh, Nimmo's an igniter at the top of the order. There's no question about that. There's that fastball, and you're right, not quite as down as the previous pitch. And I think Nick Fortes wanted that fastball up in the zone. Give credit to Nimmo. He stayed on it. And this ball sticks underneath the sports line right beneath where we were last night. And is he going to go to third, or they may send him back to second? Yeah. Go with that. The umpire's going to get together, though, it looks like. See, it goes underneath there it's, and because it doesn't it doesn't really interfere with Blade picking the ball but it didn't carry him back out to him either. And Nimmo right now is standing on second base. Oh, Buck Showalter shaking New York his is head. challenging the call that the ball was lodged on the field. Well that's an exciting start so they are going to challenge whether or not the ball was lodged in the field or not. Well, it was. There's no question about that. It was lodged underneath the matting right there. But if you're if you're Buck Showalter, your argument is it didn't didn't hinder J.J. Blade in reaching in and getting it right away. It just kept kept him from having the ball bounce back to him. Right. And you know sometimes we we joke and whatnot. We call the ball that bounces once and then goes over the wall a ground rule double. That's an automatic double. This is a ground. After review the call on the field stands. The runner replaces second base. New York loses the challenge. And now Buck is going to head out. And Chad Fairchild's tell him to hang on because if he if he argues the call he immediately gets ejected. I'm, I'm guessing Buck is just looking for a little extra explanation on that. And he wanted to get a last word in. And. And Nemo lines one the other way for a base hit. And that one's going to find the gap and go all the way to the wall. And Nimmo takes a turn at second. He's going to try for three. The throw coming in to third. It gets by, and Nimmo has a triple. Great base running by Nimmo. He saw that they had missed the cutoff man, took the extra base, seventh triple of the year, and that's how this afternoon begins. Swing on a pitch down away with two strikes, and that ball just scoots right by the, the defenders. And They're saying the ball got caught underneath the padding oh, in left center they're, field. They're going to call that a ground rule double, and oh, Buck boy. is not happy about I'll the say. call. That ball did not appear to be stuck. Usually, you have to stop, hold up your hands, and indicate to the umpire that the ball is stuck. Once you go and feel the ball, then it usually is not ruled a ground rule double. It's a ball in play. Right. I am not. I have never seen this call. And. It, if, if it gets stuck, okay. It's it pops out. Yeah, it wasn't really stuck. It just hit and stayed for a moment. And the umpire is going to get together the, and discuss that's this. That's the wrong call. That's it's a the, bad. It's a bad call. It, it play a Dylan Carlson play right. there, trying to play hero. Now you can see why they might have thought it plugged because it did plug a little, but it bounced out, and he went and got it. All of those things. I'm Makes, makes it a ball in play. Exactly. I think the fact, the very fact that he did not put up his arms yeah. and that he went and got the ball makes it a ball in play, unless I'm completely off base. Unless they've, uh, ch you know, every ballpark has their own rules. You know that. Huh. That ball is not in any way smothered or anything like that he just had to go get it and that's that's sorry that's the carom you play the carom it does go under but it bounces back yep. so it, it's a ball in play simply I mean it certainly wasn't stuck it just kind of rattled around down there but I can see the umpire initially saying boy that looks stuck but if he stayed with it longer he would have seen that it came out for Blade to make the play Oh, of course, a brand new. He's going to see. Oh, oh he's yes. the one who made the call. He's the furthest one away, and he's got to stick his nose in it. I don't understand that. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
There you go. Wow. Now we understand. If you had the over and under at uh, 90 seconds you, and you had the under, you win with Angel. Mets dugout is still giving some heat to oh. Angel and to the crew chief, Chad Fairchild, who's out at second. What? Not a surprise. That's just. Oh. I'm going to be very <laughs> interested to hear the explanation of why that call was confirmed. Anyway, here's Mark Canna with a runner at second. 